was handing YouTube another wild situation. Let's get right into this. Y'all see the thumbnail. You see the title of this video. So you know what the topic's gonna be. I don't know why you ain't tapped that like button yet. And yeah, I'm talking to you. You sitting right there. Yeah, yeah, you. 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 Tap that like button, bro. Why you ain't tapped the like button yet? And you over there, you ain't even subscribed. I don't know why y'all be hating ain't tapped the subscribe button yet. It's free. It ain't gonna cost you none. Come on, let's go. So the topic of the day is American Cholo. I watched a live from American Cholo. If y'all don't know who that is, it's a it's a podcast ran by Gil and a few other of his co-hosts. And they're from Southern California. They were pretty much reacting to what the haters world had to say about Goto's. So everyone's reacting to what someone else reacted and the reaction to the reaction and the action has a reaction and y'all know how it goes. And it's content, homie. I get it. You know, the dude haters world put out this big conspiracy about Goto's new music video. And if you guys haven't went to go check that out, the link will be right here in the comment section. Tap that link. So yeah, like I was saying, the haters world dude he tried to make this big old conspiracy and put this out in the end, put this inner type of energy out that Goto's and his music video was sending subliminals talking about he's taking over LA and he came in a red drop top convertible 6-4 Impala flamed up in red with his 49er gear, snatched up one of the baddest females from LA or from Southern California right now, which is Jenny 6 9 and then Gold Toes is riding around in a 6 4 Impala in East LA. Or like, you feel me? So they're obviously feeling some type of way about that. And I don't think that was Gold Toes' intention of trying to make people upset. He's just in LA doing business, right? Well, you know, a lot of people are going to hate regardless. Gold Toes does business with a lot of different people. A lot of different northerners. A lot of different Southsiders. A lot of different brothers. People from everywhere. That's who Gold Toes is. And that's what makes Gold Toes successful. When you're signed to GT Digital, in my opinion, because he's able to connect those dots. You know, you can go through a distribution that's just a complete AI system where you don't talk to nobody. There's no customer service. There's no management. There's no nothing. You don't ever speak to an actual person. You're talking to a bot every time you try to talk to somebody. And yes, your music gets put out, but and you get a little percentage. But sometimes you actually need some people to connect some dots. And I think that's what Gold Toes is really, really good at, is helping you connect those dots. And he's connected a lot of dots in Southern California, in Los Angeles, with the Southsiders. And there's other Southsiders that don't like it. American Cholo had a lot to say about this. Check out what he had to say, and we'll talk a little bit more about it after. Talk to him every every couple of weeks or whatnot. I definitely know it's business. To me, I don't... It's not an issue to me. I don't think the homies or anything wrong with the guys who did the, the the video and all that, right? I just I don't see the same amount of respect and love reciprocated for us up there. So what do you guys feel about what American Cholo said? He said, you know, they opened he's one of them. He opened his doors, his podcast to any North Daniel that wants to come down there and have an interview or you know, I don't think he right, any North Daniel, but you know, he's he's opened that door. I heard him say it before, and he's saying there's other Southsiders that open their doors for Northanios to go on or do business with Northanios and things of that nature. Coming from Southern California, he goes, but it's not the same up north. They don't get the, the way Northanios get love down south. The Southsiders from down south don't get that same love up north. You know, I said this before. There's truth to that because the haters role said that. The haters role said you know, the Norteños can go to L.A. and be fine, kick it with Sereños and hang out, chill, drink beers with Southsiders and, and this, that, and the third. But if Sereño tries to go up north, it's the totally opposite. They have to wash their back. They might get smoked. Whoop, whoop, whoop this, that, and the third. And it ain't, all, it ain't all good for them when they come up north. So I guess that's what Goto's is leaning on the same thing. Like, when they go up north, are they accepted? When they come up north, do they get the same love as when Norteños go down south? And I think that's uh, based on, and by opinion, that's based on an individual basis. You know what I'm saying? Because there's not one person that can speak for the whole north. Gotos doesn't speak for the whole north. No one does. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing down south. It's on an individual basis. Rico Too Smooth, one of the predominant figures in Northern California hip-hop, he's made it publicly clear numerous times in interviews and on IG Live that he has no issues with any Southsiders from Southern California. It's just the dudes that are from up here that he has issues with. Other than that, he made it clear that the dudes from down south are all good. See, like with him, that's on an individual basis. 
there might be somebody else from his town and be like, nah, fuck them dudes. You know what I'm saying? And as far as American Cholo wanting to come up north and do an interview or something, I don't know when, I don't know who would he come up north and do an interview with. We have Big Tone. Big Tone. Shout out Big Tone. I wish Big Tone was more consistent with his podcast. You know, he's doing great things with him and uh, AWACS. We also have Big Mister. Shout out Big Mister. He started a podcast recently. Y'all go check that out. And who else? We have the No Paperwork Podcast. Y'all go check them out as well. And then a few other. I know I'm missing a couple, but there's not too many Northerners on YouTube that are uh, like period. So what do you guys think about what American Chola had to say? Would he be accepted or would the Southsiders be accepted up north? And if you got a podcast, would you welcome them to your podcast? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get them going.